Good morning. My name is Deputy Muniz. I'm with the Star County Sheriff's Office. Our Sheriff Rene Fuentes uh, was not able to be here today. He had a prior work commitment. Thank you all uh, for being here this morning to honor our fallen heroes, our fallen officers in our county. The, the ones that gave their ultimate sacrifice, the ones that are uh, gone but not forgotten. We have the welcome by City Manager Albert Perez. Good morning and welcome uh, to the Fallen Hero Police Memorial Ceremony. On behalf of the Mayor and the City Commissioners of Rio Grande City, welcome to this event. Uh, we have a, a lot to be grateful in this beautiful and free country. And for that, we're eternally grateful for our fallen heroes. Again, welcome for this ceremony and uh, we look forward to the rest of the event. Thank you, Mr. Perez. Next is the invocation by Pastor Bob. Good morning. I was reading this morning as I was preparing for this. A scripture from John chapter 15. It says, greater love has no man than this. That someone lay down his life for his friends. Today we gather to remember, to honor to be respectful of those who have given their life in service to their community. To those who bring a different meaning to the thin blue line. Because not only did they keep the line, hold the line, they gave their life for that line that keeps us safe. They showed great love. And today we gather in the presence of heroes, men and women who we know would be willing to do the same when called upon. And we're thankful for you and for the love and dedication you have for your community. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. I know that in our community today, the Avengers are the great things. Everybody's talking about superheroes. But today I want to say from your community, from the communities of faith, real heroes don't wear capes or have invisible airplanes. Real heroes wear Kevlar and carry duty belts. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Fathers, we gather before your throne of grace and mercy this morning. We gather in the precious and holy name of your Son, Jesus. Father, we pray for the families of those whose loved ones gave that last measure of duty to keep their community safe. We pray, Father, that you would meet their needs. Wrap your loving arms around them so they could feel your presence, know your love as you carry them through these dark times. Father, we pray today also for those who, who stand with us at this ceremony and who stand guard all across this country. Father, we pray a hedge of protection around them. Hold them safely in your right hand and bring them back home from their appointed rounds every evening to their families. Lord, we pray their families would know their husbands, their wives, their children are safe in your hand. Father, bless our law enforcement officers and keep them safe for your glory. And in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Next is a presentation of colors by the Star County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard, RGCPD, RGCC ISDPD, and Roma ISDPD under the direction of Lieutenant Erasmo Rios. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Pledge of Allegiance will be by Police Officer Roel Peña with the RG RGC PD. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The national anthem will be by Jay Muniz. Dawn's early light, what so proudly we fell as a twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night. Oh, the ramparts we won were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the hope Next is our guest speaker, Chief Noe Castillo with RGCPD. Chief. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I want to thank all the law enforcement personnel uh, representing your respective agencies here today. I also want to thank everyone that uh, made this event possible. And um, thank you all for honoring our fallen. You know, uh, I got some information from the National Law Enforcement Museum. On October 1st, 1962, President John F. Kennedy signed into public law it de declaring May 15 as National Police Officers Memorial Day. And the calendar week in March 15 falls as National Police Week. 30 years later, the Law Enforcement Act of 1994 was amended and it was signed by President Clinton, direct directing the U.S. flag to be displayed at half staff on all government buildings on May 15 of each year. The significance and tribute of this display is to honor our fallen local, state, and federal officers who have paid the ultimate sacrifice on the line of duty. This uh, year, over 50 officers have lost their lives in the line of duty throughout the, our nation. One is too many, as you all know. We honor those who lost their lives this week those who have left their families behind with so many questions and so few answers. This year, 362 names of officers who have died in the line of duty were inscribed in the National, National Law Enforcement Memorial, bringing the total to an engraved to 19,660. 
every day local, state, and federal law enforcement personnel all over the United States suit up and pin their badges with a common goal to serve and protect others in our great nation. Some of them never make it back home. I ask all of you to pray for the fallen and their families and keep those you see in uniform here today in your prayers. We never know what tomorrow brings. In closing, I want to thank all of our family members, husbands, wives, because without their support, we would not be able to go out and do what you, we do every day. Thank you all, everyone here that is in uniform and those uh, who support us for all you do. And remember, you do God's work. God bless you all, and thank you. Thank you, Chief. Next, uh, we'll have a reading of a police officer's poem by Jay Muniz. Never let them walk alone. The uniform is often blue, but they come in brown, green, and suntan too. Never let them walk alone. The badges may be shields, it may also be stars, silver, or gold, but seen from afar. Never let them walk alone. A thankless job they willingly do to provide protection for me and you, and they do it. Never let them walk alone. Hated by many, but loved by few, only they know the best job they must do. And they do it. Never let them walk alone. An arbitrator, negotiator, and enforcer of the law, doctor, lawyer, keeper of the peace, never let them walk alone. When they're off to work each day, and you at home do silently pray, Lord, be with them as they go on their way. Never let them walk alone. And when their time has to pass and their father calls them home, there's a bigger job that must be done. Never let them walk alone. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Next, I'm going to be reading The Fallen Officers from Star County. Gone but not forgotten. Star County Constable Henry T. Smalley, end of watch, October 17, 1852. Star County Sheriff John E. Martin, end of watch, December 1st, 1881. Star County Deputy Sheriff Lewis Handy, end of watch, December 1st, 1881. Star County Deputy Sheriff E. Diofonso Solis, end of watch, June 27, 1898. Star County Deputy Constable David Gomez, end of watch, May 30th, 1934. Star County Deputy Sheriff Ramiro Garcia, end of watch, July 3rd, 1966. Next, we will have the three volley salute by the Star County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard, RGCPD, RGCCISDPD. by Abigail Trevino with the RGCCISD Mariachi Cascabel.
Thank you. And we conclude our Fallen Officers Hero Ceremony this morning. Thank you all for being here this morning to honor our fallen officers who have given their ultimate sacrifice on their line of duty. Thank you.